Welcome to Mykonos. It's a popular and glamorous Greek island in the Kyklades, filled with beaches, architecture, mythology, and pates. The traditional whitewashed houses, narrow marble streets, Mykonos town can be quite a maze. It was actually purposely created this way in the old days to confuse pirates. But whichever path you take now will bring you to a beautiful street. You'll also notice these colorful doors. When you get here, you'll suddenly develop a growing obsession with the bright colorful doors. I know I did, and you might even take home a piece of artwork like this one. Once you're done wandering around, settle down at one of the waterfront cafes in Little Venice. It's one of the most scenic corners. I'll put the Greek name up top. And from here, you can catch a glimpse of the windmills, which are some of the most iconic parts of Mykonos. There used to be 28 of them, and these ones up here are the most popular. Alright, let's head out of the city center and into the beaches. Mykonos has a very convenient bus system to the popular beaches, so know which one you want to go to beforehand, and there's usually a sign on the front of the bus window. I headed to Paranga, which was perfect for me as an introverted traveler exploring by myself. Each of the beaches have a different feel, a different personality type for them. There are other beaches that are more suitable to large families, groups, or party environments. Just respect the environment that you step into and mimic the feel that the beach gives off. Next, I visited Paradise Beach, which is one of the most popular party beaches. Music kicks off around 5 p.m. with appearances of famous DJs, wild parties, celebrities, A-listers will come and party it out. I filmed it around noon, so the atmosphere is a little different. Paradise Beach is not to be confused with Super Paradise Beach, which was once widely known as the Gay Nudist Beach. Do you see this dude here? Do not do what he's doing. So there's a bar of coral reef which you need to cross to get to the swimming waters. It looks very nice, but there's fire coral, sea urges, I don't know what it is, everyone has a different opinion on it. And I'm telling you now because I crossed it and no one had told me and it, it is extremely painful and I'm slowing this down purposely so that you can fast forward if you don't want to see my butt and the boils and whatnot. Ooh. Here are some pretty videos of Mikono's town to help you forget about those images. I originally wasn't going to even add them in but people didn't believe me when I told them about it. These videos aren't even the worst of them. Alright alright I'll stop talking about the boils but remember to stay safe, never touch coral, and know when to be adventurous. Alright, see you next time in Rhodes.